Welcome back to the Force Nines YouTube channel. Welcome to day 13 of the Panini Pack opening series where we're opening Wild Cup stickers. We pick one player from two packs to go into a squad on Football Manager. Today's Friday the 13th. I'm not superstitious, but I don't know. Are we going to get some awful players in this um, selection? We'll wait and see. Last time, we got Luka Modric, one of the best midfielders in the world. And he joins the squad uh, in the midfield with Henderson and uh, Tielemans. Uh, our first Croatian of the team, so today, uh, the only position we need to fill is right back, so that would be the ideal place to get, but we will see what comes along. So let's jump into it, here's pack number one, of course I'm going through my box of 100 that I bought the other day, I just picked two packs from a random in the box from anywhere, so here's number one, let's open it and let's see who is potentially joining the squad today. Okay, so here we go, uh, pack one of two today, start off with a Panamanian. Don't know any Panaman players. This is Eric Davis. He is red, which means he is a defender. Uh, who does he even play for? He plays for some Slovakian side that I don't know. So that's someone I don't know. He's a defender, though. We can always do with defenders. Uh, up next, we've got uh, an Iranian. I think we've only got one Iranian in the side. This is Morteza Poraliganji. I think I said that right. Uh, he plays for Al Sad in Qatar. Uh, we have a Tunisian and it's a forward. We've got quite a few Tunisian forwards, so this may well be a duplicate. Anis Badri, although I don't remember the name, so this may well not be a, a duplicate. But um, we've got a lot of Tunisian forwards. Uh, we've got a special sticker and it's the World Cup ball. Uh, now that does mean that we can pick any player we want. As per my rules at the start of the series, if I pack a player from the very first page, which includes the World Cup trophy, the ball, uh, the Panini logo, the FIFA logo, uh, I can pick any player I want. That also goes for uh, the Legends uh, stickers at the back of the book as well. So this means we can pick whoever we want. And the final sticker, it's uh, Jonathan Dos Santos, Mexican. I don't know if he's related to Giovanni or not, but there's Jonathan Dos Santos. And he plays for... Oh. Burp, sorry. And he plays for LA Galaxy. But as we got the ball, we can pick whoever we want. But we're going to open pack number two. Now, um, because we got the ball, uh, we got the uh, actual World Cup. I think that was in our very first pack opening in the first video, which wasn't part of this series. Um, I think I said that I could do this three times, but because these stickers, there's only, what, four? There's, I think there's only about eight in total. I'm only going to limit myself to do this once. So, um, that's, I'm only going to do it once, because otherwise, if I get another Le Legends thing, or if I get, you know, something else from the first page, I can. I don't want to be able to pick whoever I want more than once, really. But this just leaves me completely open to get whoever I want. But let's open pack number two and see if we could potentially still benefit from getting a really good player. And then maybe get another chance to use the any player thing another time. Uh, and um, I don't know where this goes. What number is this? This is number six. So... Uh, this actually goes on the first page as well. It's um, a Russia, I think it's the Russia 2018 logo. So that is the same thing. It's in the first page, but also means that we can pick any player we want. So we've got two of them. That's incredible. Um, so the other stickers in this pack, we'll start off with a, a Panamanian. He's orange, which means that he's a midfielder. His name is Armando Cooper. He is from Universidad de Chile. So there's Armando Cooper. Uh, up next, we have... Uh, our very first Costa Rican. We don't have a Costa Rican yet. This is Johnny Acosta. He is a defender and he plays for Rio Negro uh, Aguilas. So there is uh, Acosta. Uh, our first Costa Rican in the pack. Our next we have uh, a Swedish player from Leeds. Yesterday we got the Sweden badge. I didn't see this guy but he plays for Leeds in the championship. Pontius Janssen is there. Uh, and then next, uh, we have ourselves potential. Is he? I can't remember if this is a right back or a left back. He's definitely the defender from Atletico Madrid. It's uh, Vasalko, the Croatian. There's Vasalko. So if he's a right back, then he could be good. I think he's a decent fullback. But otherwise, there's not a lot of players in there that I fancy. So I think we might be using one of the two special stickers we got, which means we can pick anyone. But we're still going to look through each player in the game and see, first of all, if they're in the game. And second of all, if they're any good. So we'll start off with uh, Eric Davis, who's from Panama. 
and plays for uh, a team called Streda, who are in uh, Slovakia. Uh, now he is uh, looks like a left wing back or a left midfielder. Uh, Dribbling's good at 15. Uh, he's got a bit of pace about him. 26 years old. He's got 29 caps for Panama. He's not too bad, you know. He's o he's okay. But we're not going to pick him. Of course we're not. Uh, Morteza Poroliganji, the Iranian. He's a defensive midfielder. There's some decent attributes in here. 14 marking, 14 tackling. Very aggressive, so he's going to get a red card in the World Cup. Uh, determination of 14, 15 work rate. Uh, physicals are okay. Um, yeah, that's the Iranian. Anis Badri is an inside forward. And we don't have him. And uh, We have three Tunisian forwards. This is our fourth. We have the bottom row of the Tunisian players on that side on that um, side of the page. So uh, Badri's new and uh, he's not brilliant. Jonathan Dos Santos from LA Galaxy in Mexico. Deep line playmaker. We've already got a couple of good ones of those, Tielemans and Modric. So uh, I don't think we'll be picking him, but he actually is pretty good. If I didn't have to, if I didn't have good midfielders already, I'd pick him. Uh, Vasalko is a right back. And he's a defensive fullback as well. Now, that's the one area that we don't actually have a player yet. So, he would be good. And actually, he's very good uh, in terms of attributes. 15 marking and tackling. 17 determination is good. Physically, he's very good. Samadera 19. Pacey as well. A pacey fullback is always brilliant. So, um, I do like the look of Vasalko. So, um, what I will do is, with the badges, if I can find a better right back than Vasalko, then I'll pick him. Um, but if not, I might pick Vasalko, although it would be our second Croatian in as many days as we packed Modric last time. So we would have used our Croatian players already. But then again, who else is there from Croatia that we'd benefit from? you got maybe, I don't know, is it Kalinic the forwards? I can't name any Croatian defenders apart from this guy. And then midfield-wise, I mean, we've got Modric, but then we could have had Rakitic before. Uh, they've got Brozovic. Um, Pjanic, I think, might be Serbian. But, I mean, he's a very good right back. Armando Cooper is a right winger. Um, got some 12s and 13s in there, but other than that, not a lot. Um, mentals are okay. 15 flares, pretty cool. Johnny Acosta is a sweeper. Wow. It's not often you actually see natural sweepers in the game. I don't think I've ever used a sweeper in a football manager. I'm not going to here either. He's 33, Costa Rican. 15 heading, 15 tackling is good. Anticipation's decent, good leadership. Uh, he's got pace as well. Not often you actually see a fully fledged sweeper in the game. And then Pontus Jansson, the uh, Leeds centre back, he's Swedish. 14 for heading and marking, 16 tackling. Do you know what? He's not bad. He's pretty good. 26. He's got 13 caps for the Swedes. He's actually pretty darn good. Let's look at some right backs with these um, special stickers that we've got then because that limits us to that that doesn't limit us at all now top of the list you've got the spaniards that we looked at last time with the batch uh and there's kimmich who we already have two stickers of so we'll avoid the spaniards because we already have isco so you see picking any player it doesn't mean they have to be in the world cup they could be from any nation we could pick shameless common from ireland if we wanted so looking down these like i'm not sure about these guys i mean Fozu Mensa is there. I mean, we're not going to get Fozu Mensa, are we? Rafinha. It'd be a Brazilian. I know, you know, there's some brilliant Brazilians to pick from. Neymar, um, Coutinho, Gabriel Jesus. We haven't packed a single Brazilian yet. Our Brazil pages are empty. I don't really want my first Brazilian to be a 31-year-old right back. No offence, Rafinha, if he's watching, which he's not. See, this is difficult. I mean, these stickers mean you can pick whoever you want. I mean, do we not go for a left, a right back? We could upgrade on our left midfielder, the uh, Mexican we got. I mean, we could get Neymar. We could we could just pick Neymar. Neymar, Aguero, and Dembele. In, oh, uh, I mean, we could we could get more of these, and then we'd still be looking for that fullback. I'm approaching halfway through this series, but then Vasalco's good. He'd just be our second Croatian. Right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a look at the Croatian team. See, really, you're looking at. Um, Perisic, Mandzukic, Kalinic, Kramaric, uh, Kubasic, Broz all the itches, Brozovic. I'm not interested in any of the other defenders. I don't want to pick Dejan Lovren. I'm a Liverpool fan, but I do not want to pick Dejan Lovren. Even though actually I had really good success with him managing Liverpool. 
uh, Vida, Choluca. Vasalco is a very good right back. So I'm going to forego picking these ones because I feel like that would just be too unfair. Although we can only do it once. Uh, and we're going to ignore all these and we're going to pick uh, Vasalco. And uh, well, thankfully, I don't think there was a single duplicate in that uh, two packs, which is absolutely good news. Friday the 13th was very fortunate in the end. We got two really cool shiny stickers and uh, we're going to pick ourselves a fullback in uh, Vasalco, if I can find him again. Here he is. Shime Vasalco, Atletico Madrid fullback. So that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like down below. Leave comments. If you want to see videos as and when they're up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. See you tomorrow for day number 14, where, um, well, we, we, we now have a squad of 11 that we can actually put out. So now it's all about trying to see if we can upgrade those players and then trying to sort out a subs bench and all that stuff. So the team is looking very, very good. And I mean, it could have been even better if we'd have picked someone like Neymar, but... I decided against it for now, but if we get towards the end and we get one of those again, I think I will be picking one of those players like the Neymars or the Hazards or the Griezmanns or the De Bruyne's. But for now, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.